So let's get started and I'm gonna start with water signs because we are in cancer season and I know you guys are feeling the feels right now. I feel a lot of, you know, energies, a little bit of an up and down here. Um, emotionally and I think it's happening for all signs not just cancer so yes I'm gonna get started what I'm gonna do this time because I've already done the generals for the month and they are on um, on YouTube I'm gonna do one of each so since I haven't gotten started on the love readings for the entire month you'll get a romance angel oracle and an angel answer so hopefully you get an idea of what your week ahead looks like okay so Let's see if I can get through this in one hour. Let me change, let me change this time here. I'm sorry if this bounces around. I really need a new, uh, a new iPhone holder. <laughs> and let me know if there's problems with the sound or um, the lighting because I have my curtains open, although I should probably close them because I feel like I'm melting even with the air on. Hang on a second. I'm not melting, I'm glistening. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, this is ridiculous. All right, so I'm gonna pull one of each to get started, and then I'm gonna clarify like I usually do. I'm just about to get started. I know you are, Miss Marisol. You're in the valley, girl, I feel you. At lunchtime, it was like 120 degrees when I took my lunch break. Ridiculous. Okay, starting with water, everyone. Uh, I won't be able to keep up too much with the comments as I want to go ahead and get through this. So, chemistry for you water signs. Hey, Christian, thanks for joining. Water signs for the week ahead. Chemistry, that's awesome. I love it. And then let's pull an Angel Answers Oracle. All kinds of stuff going on. I'm gonna show you these. Ask for help from others and choose a new direction. But this one I will take, compromise. So, you got some chemical reaction with someone, but unfortunately, you're gonna have to compromise on how you're gonna make this work, so. Let's clarify this. How gorgeous is my fluorite? I love it. <laughs> if I had better lighting, you'd be able to see all the colors. It's dark in here. Let's see. So, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you've got the chemistry card. Let me see if I, I got it in the screen here. I love fluorite. I've got so many different crystals, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Pisces, two cards for Pisces, please, with the chemistry and the compromise. <laughs> the sun card. And you had two cards that flipped, like back flipped onto the ground. Pisces, are you ready for this? Two of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Shit you not. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know I'm going to get a million hearts for that one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Three of Pentacles, Temperance, and the Page of Wands for somebody coming in with a new opportunity, trying to find your balance. So let's see what's going on for Cancer. Is Pisces taking all the attention here? Come on, Cancer. Too many things going on here. Cancer season got you heartbroken like a mofo. Ten of swords, three of swords, shit from your past you can't let go even though you're trying to manifest something new. And you know you're going to need to come into some communication very quickly. So let's get to it. Cancer, two cards please. Cancer. Oh. 
I think I've got so many Pisces here that Cancer doesn't, <laughs> Cancer feels a little intimidated by Pisces. And you got the Three of Swords again. Sorry, Cancer, you're going through some tough times. I can tell you that this Cancer season's got a lot of people feeling their feelings like to the max, where I get the general sense from many people that I've been reading since we've gotten into Cancer season that even the smallest disagreement turns into something that you causes you to be stuck in your head about but there is a promising new beginning here so cancer it's time to get out of your head that compromise is you might be a little over exaggerating on how you're receiving certain things but that's I'm sorry, that's kind of not your fault right now with all the feels that are just going around in the universe. I, I think like everyone's feeling it. Scorpio, what's going on with Scorpio? Yeah, Cancer's reading last week was ugh, not cool. Okay, so really quick. Three of Pentacles, Temperance, King of Swords, the Hierophant, and the King of Wands. So, whether this is for Scorpio or any water sign here, there's a need to collaborate, come together with someone, but you really need to balance out your options because you've got three men here. If this is a female with three different choices, you know you want something traditional, it would probably be that Earth sign Taurus. So let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Scorpio's got three cards. Okay. Queen of Swords, the Emperor, and the Nine of Swords. So are you having issues at work? You got like a cut a bitch boss that's getting on your case, got you worried you might lose your job. Maybe it's your mother, your wife, your spouse, mother-in-law, who probably just meddles in all kinds of shit. <laughs> yeah, if you wait for a Taurus, they're slow, is what the ladies in here are saying. <laughs> so let's get, let's get to it. If I need to pull more clarifiers, I will, but I think we've got enough cards here to go. So, Pisces. <sighs> Pisces. You've got chemistry and compromise. So the key here is if you want this chemistry to keep going, there might be some things that you two need to compromise on. Maybe you're a little dead set in what you want and how you want things, but you've got to be able to meet each other halfway in order to have this amazing two of cups with the sun. Oh my gosh, like finally, finally, this is so amazing with the king of pentacles here. So if this isn't a relationship, Let's let's get started with the business partnership first, okay? Business partnerships, right? You hook up with someone who you end up working really well with and you're like, hey, let's start something new. I have this idea. Maybe you want to branch out together. Maybe you become, you know, new business partners at work. There is a positive partnership, especially when it comes to business and finances. And right now, if you've got this earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, right? They've got all the answers and they've got that Midas touch to make this, to manifest this partnership if it's in love. Obviously the chemistry is there, but you know, with everything going on with cancer season and all your emotions, you need to just take a little bit of a step back. Yes, earth signs are a little slower in coming forward and moving forward, but they're methodical with every step they take. They have probably thought about their next step over 20 million times because they want to achieve perfection, even though we all know perfection isn't attainable. But they want to get there as close as possible. No misstep. Let's make this happen. Let's move forward. And you'll see some changes within the next, within the next week or two. Um, energy is fluid, so this can be within the next week or two. So, yes, this is for Pisces. Now let's get to it with Cancer. Cancer, chemistry and compromise. So what I'm gonna say here, if there is a partnership in love or business, money, finances, there is a need for compromise. 
You might be feeling a bit emotional right now. You're stuck in your head about a lot of things, but this is a self-imposed prison because you have thought and overthought certain situations. It's like you keep replaying the same things in your head when the other person is probably clueless and not realizing that you're still going over the same thing that they thought it was over and done with. So if you want this new beginning, and finances and you know material things household um, this is also the creativity how you're gonna make this happen is by releasing yourself from this heartache and I feel as though this heartache is really unnecessary I bet if I pull another card it's gonna tell me how unnecessary that heartache is you know it's it feels like self-imposed like the other person is probably clueless you know, they, they probably feel that they're doing their part in this partnership or in this relationship. But you're not communicating anything because it's all replaying in your mind. So you've got the Two of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Eight of Swords, right? With the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. There is a need for equal give and take for balance. You do have chemistry with someone, but maybe you're not meeting each other halfway, Maybe the equal give and take is because you're not compromising with each other. So it's time to take the blinders off. You're not bound. You are not bound and tied to this situation. You can move forward. You can get away from the stagnancy. One more card and then we'll move on to Scorpio. All of a sudden, Cancer's throwing me all kinds of cards. Look at you got the Ace of Pentacles again with the Four of Swords, the Death card, and the Hierophant. So you are thinking about a new beginning. You've taken a break in terms of how you're going to manifest this, how you're going to move on to something more traditional, and you're going to reinvent yourself into something new or somebody new, whether it's at work, at home. Let me see. Okay, so if this is in finance... You've been holding on to your money if you're afraid of financial instability. You've been holding on to your money. You're afraid to move away from a specific situation or move forward from a situation. And if this is in love, the chemistry is there, but why are you so guarded, Cancer? Really, why are you so guarded? If you've got shit from the past that you're bringing into this relationship, that's your doing self-imposed prison you're starting something new with someone and you're you're walking into something still brokenhearted from the last cut it out cancer sorry let me move on to scorpio scorpio you've got compromise and chemistry with the queen of swords the emperor and the nine of swords and i already know i need to clarify this because this can go both ways if this is in love you have chemistry, the compromise is needed in how you two are communicating. Because the communication, there, there is some big miscommunication. And it's not, I don't feel that it's done purposely. I feel that there is a communication breakdown at this moment. In terms of, you're not checking each other for understanding. You might say something and then you think the other person understood. And then when they do the complete opposite, you're like, what the hell? We already talked about this. You know I don't like this, or you know I can't stand that, and how come you don't remember this? And it turns into petty fighting, and then you're living this, you're reliving the nightmare over and over again because you're thinking this person doesn't care about me, this person doesn't remember even the smallest things, they don't pay attention to me. You turn into this cut a bitch card, this queen of swords, who just wants to cut everyone out. But the fact is here, you know, with the emperor, you need to take back control of this, of your mental thoughts, of how you are perceiving things, because you know the chemistry is there. You know you've been a little bit rigid. Why? Because you've been wanting to be in control of every single step. But the key is not to be in control of the outcome, but in control of yourself and what you're thinking. Because as you overthink all these things, you turn into this Nine of Swords person with nightmares, keeping you up at night. You can't sleep at night because you're just constantly thinking and replaying certain scenarios. 
one more card for Scorpio, and then I'll move on to Earth signs. Okay, Pisces Scorpio right here, because I know everyone calls this the Pisces card. I associate it with the Scorpio card. So there are things that you are hiding from your partner, your business partner, your love partner, a spouse. You're hiding something from someone. You've got a, a female and a male. This can be looked at as a partnership, but there are secrets here that someone is holding on to that's keeping them up at night. So the compromise here is this. What are you going to do? See, look, more water, Queen of Cups. What are you going to do? And I'm going to call it right now like I see it. You know that there are secrets that are keeping you up at night. Because you're overthinking and overthinking, you get emotional, and then you get bitchy. And guess who gets hurt in the end? Your boss, your partner, your spouse. Yeah, you do need to take control of your mind, of your thoughts, of your feelings. You have to. It's just going to create more nightmares. It's a nightmare situation for you. That was Scorpio. So, water signs, a little bit better. You know, Scorpio had it pretty bad last week. Cancer too. Um, you know, let's let's move on to let's move on to Earth signs. And let me tell you, Earth signs. If if you guys have not seen the Earth sign videos on YouTube that I posted up, Lord have mercy with that Virgo reading. Help me, please. I wanted to like do like an hour long of clarifying and clarifying and being like, this isn't right. This isn't right. What is going on with Virgo? So we're going to move on to Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. The Capricorn one was really good though, so I'm glad. Virgo, I started off with the really bad one, which was Virgo, then Taurus, and then we went to Capricorn, which Capricorn's got a great month ahead. Yeah, Virgo was, was too much. I was like, can I just crawl under a rock? So really quickly, you guys, if you have not gone over to my YouTube page, the link is in the bio. And um, go ahead and click the link. You'll see everyone's uh, monthly energy readings, general readings. And I will be working on the love readings for Earth Signs this week, and I'm posting them up for the entire month of July. So please hop on over to YouTube once I'm done and um, like, share, subscribe, post some comments so I know that somebody out there relates to it. I've gotten quite a few comments already and messages and I really appreciate it. I know I've gotten people that have come over from YouTube and send me DMs. So thank you. Thank you for, for doing that, those new people that are here. Okay, let's see. What's in store for Earth signs? Okay, let me take a deep breath here. Whew. Let me prepare myself for this. Let's hope that after posting up those Earth sign readings that this comes out better for the week ahead. Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You deserve love. Damn straight I do. <laughs> So let's see, what's the angel answers oracle here? <laughs> Whoa. Ask your angels. I'm going to pull one more for that one. I always feel like that one's so vague. I will do air signs right after earth. You're ready. So my reading from Christian said, right, Urban Mystic? <laughs> you guys, if you're not already subscribed to Urban Mystic readings, he did a reading for me. If you can believe it, I've never actually had a tarot reading done for me. <laughs> so he did one for me and it was awesome. <laughs> yes. Urban Mystic reading. Follow him, please. <laughs> 
He was on point, by the way. <laughs> Embarrassingly enough. <laughs> so let me see if I can get this into the picture. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What do we have going on for the week ahead? <laughs> Too much craziness going on. Hang on a second. All right, Taurus, two cards. No quiere. Taurus doesn't want to. Taurus is hiding. He's like, I don't know about you guys. <laughs> well, it came out sideways. I could take it upright or in reverse, but I'm going to read it both ways. So we've got the Fool card <laughs> and the Death card. Two majors for Taurus. Wow. Virgo. <laughs> oh my goodness five of pentacles and the knight of pentacles <sighs> capricorn what's going on with capricorn eight of cups you're ready to move forward yes i love it bigger and better oh yes i love it capricorn see Capricorn is on a good one. That monthly reading I did was very positive, and now the week ahead looks even better. So freaking awesome. I love it. Okay, let's clarify this. So, Taurus, you've got the Fool and the Death card. Because it came out sideways, I'm going to read it both ways. If you're a Taurus, you know what applies to you. If it doesn't apply to you, don't force it, okay? Just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. The Fool card, upright with the Death card, I'm going to say that perhaps you know that, there, that it's time for you to change the ways that you've been doing things in your life. It's time to release yourself from old habits, self-deprecating old habits. You get stuck in your head, woe is me, you feel you know, guilt, you feel like you're reliving the past, all this pain that's been lingering. You know, if it's in reverse, it's that you know, you know that you need to let go of these bad traits, these bad habits, but you're not. You're, you're too afraid to make that leap of faith. You know that you deserve love. You know that you need to seek guidance. And you are, in fact, ready to make this transition to move forward. But there's still a part of you that's scared. And then there are a few Taurus who aren't scared, who are saying, fuck this shit. I'm done. I'm ready. New me coming through. Watch out. I feel it. I feel it completely and totally. That shit is happening. Oh, look, Eight of Cups. See, that shit is happening. People are moving forward. See, much better. There we go. You are going to manifest the shit out of your future because you are looking forward. You are looking towards the future. You've realized, you know what? I've put in a lot of work into me, into my life, into my job, my career, my business, my relationships, my family. And what I've been doing for the past however many months, years of your life has not been working out for you. Look at that. From the fool to the magician to rebirth, you are recreating yourself into that Taurus that you know you are. Because that, that Taurus is hidden inside you. It's hidden inside you. You know that you have the abilities and the capabilities to do this, to just say, fuck the past, fuck the rest. It hasn't worked for me. I deserve love, damn it. And I have been speaking to my angels and I'm ready. I'm ready to move forward, I'm looking forward, looking ahead. Taurus, that was a really good reading, really good reading. So we got Virgo here. After that reading on YouTube, the Five of Pentacles does not surprise me. Let me tell you, does not surprise me. Why? 
Because Virgo, some of you have been up to no good. Some of you have created the chaos that's in your life. You have either forced, you've wanted to control a specific situation and you're trying to force a specific outcome. However, when you do that, it creates this fear-based energy into what you are trying to manifest. Because in fact, it's not a manifestation of the positive outcome that you want. It's a manifestation of the worry. It's a manifestation of the fear and the setback. So what happens? You get this nine of pentacles and guess what nine of pentacles is? Slowest motherfucking night in the deck, right? Right? You're moving, flow, you're moving forward, you're moving forward slowly. But I'm gonna give you credit, you're moving forward. You know you don't wanna be like this and if you aren't in a partnership or in a relationship, with someone that you've turned around and made them feel like this, like this five of pentacles, like you shot them down after they tried to reach out, like you've started communicating and really quickly you just shut the door on them, like you know what, I don't want this shit. It's, it's all about communication and how you communicate. You know, and I say this to everyone, it's not enough just to say what you need to say and I'm not saying that the other person isn't bright enough or smart enough or sharp enough to understand, but everyone has their own ways of understanding. So you might have a difference in communication styles and that in turn affects how you move forward. Because I know Virgo, they, they want something, they're determined to get it. It's like lighting a fire under their ass. You can't stop them. So why are they the slowest night? Why? Because they keep freaking pausing and stopping and overthinking every step of the way. Look at that with the full card. Earth signs. Come on now. Let go. Let go of the control issues. Let things unfold naturally. For once, look. For once, here's the, let me tell you, because I'm all freaking earth, so all these threes kind of technically apply to me. The full card, an earth sign, an earth sign is going to think every step of the way. Like, I've met earth signs that literally are counting every step to the copy machine, counting every ring before they answer the phone. I have to answer, like they are the most OCD people I know. And I am a little bit like that. At some point I realized it's all in divine timing. I cannot force the universe's hand to give me what I want. The universe already knows what I deserve, what I'm going to receive, and I'm open to receiving it. So when things like this happen, I'm not afraid to take that leap of faith, let me tell you. I'm not. If an opportunity comes in and I'm feeling really good about it and I'm saying, hey, for whatever reason, the universe is giving me this opportunity to jump, guess what? I'm jumping. I don't know if I have a parachute or not, but I'm jumping. <laughs> and it's part of life. You don't know what's going to be you know a learning lesson and what isn't look at that that's better that is better virgo virgo your own damn card how about you take the time to go within seek wisdom from yourself meditate and talk to your angels if you need assistance with meditation tips dm me I will send you links to videos that, you know, that I've got that help me out. Keep a journal handy because as you go into this meditative state, there are messages from your angels that are being communicated to you. And guess what? Virgo, you deserve love and you're fucking ready for that shit. Stop trying to control the outcome because it's not the way that you're thinking it's supposed to be. You got the world in your hands. You've got two choices here. What are you going to do? You're going to go within, ask your angels. You're ready for that leap of faith. Let all that shit go. All right, Capricorn, I had to take a little bit extra time with that Virgo after the horrible YouTube reading. <laughs> Capricorn, oh my God, I love it. You deserve love. Ask your angels for guidance and assistance. What's my next step? Because I feel ready. 
I feel ready. Capricorn, you are freaking ready. Absolutely. Look at that. If you have been feeling like it's time to take a break from the world and disconnect and go on to this spiritual journey where you need that time with yourself, your own, your own mind, your own thoughts, your own whatever it is that you feel like. I get the sense that some of you Capricorns have been holding on to, and I'm just you know, for lack of a better word, have been holding on to these dreams, these ideas that someday I'm going to do this and someday I'm going to do that. And one day I'll feel good enough to be able to do that. Guess what, Capricorn? You are freaking ready. You're so ready. Stop thinking and start doing. You can move forward onto bigger and better. On to bigger and better. You're only two steps away from that Ten of Cups, and that's all I got to say because you got the Sun card here, and with this freaking heat, it's yours. It's yours. I don't even want to pull any more cards for you. I feel like that's like your perfect reading, Capricorn. I love it. I love it. You've been trying to figure out which path to take because you know that there is something that you need to do. You're stuck between responsibilities in life and what you want to do. Find a way to make both happen. See? See? What's at the end of the road? Right there. At the end of the road, it's waiting for you. Go within, just like that Virgo card, your own wisdom. Find your balance. Right now, you might be feeling one foot in, one foot out. Look at that juggling act. You know what you want to do, and you know what you need to do. And you are more than ready to do it. Love yourself enough to make that life happen for you. You got this, Capricorn. I love it. I felt very optimistic after that Capricorn reading I did on YouTube. <laughs> that was Earth Signs. Thank you for everyone who's joined me. I wasn't keeping up with the chats. I will go back and rewatch the video in case anybody wants to DM me about anything. Yes, self-love, self-care goes a long way. I'm going to move on to Air Signs. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Right after this. So I've got, I think I'm just barely going to have enough time to do all the signs. Oh, you got it, Christian. You're ready. That's all I'm saying. You're ready. Such positive reading for Capricorn. Yes, Al Perez, I am going to, I'm moving on to, um, to air signs, so I will be doing... Aquarius, Libra, Gemini next. Why, Caitlin? Let's clear these. All right, let's see. Are we playing Connect the Planets and trying to figure out which reading applies to you? All right, here we go. I'm going to pull the Love Oracle first. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini for the week ahead. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. The week ahead, give or take a week or two. Energy is fluid. Some things take a little bit longer to manifest and some things might already be happening. Forgiving and learning. Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Are we in the outs with someone? Choose a new direction. One more card. Opportunity. Those two together are awesome. So you're going to be presented with a new opportunity. Whatever path you've been going down for quite some time is obviously not the correct one for you because you're about to be presented with a new path. So the angels are saying it's time to choose a new direction. You are being presented with a new direction. Now, in the relationship section, forgiving and learning... 
As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. When that card comes out, it's calling for you to release yourself from any past energies that you might still have lingering around you. And what I mean by that is it doesn't mean you're not over the X. It doesn't mean, um, you know, you're pining away for someone or I'm still, you know, pretty upset about what happened in my last relationship or in my marriage from like 10 years ago. You know, a lot of it has to do not just in relationships, partnership, it can also do be, you know, have to do with families. So what is the first example that we have in a marriage and in a relationship? And that comes from our parents. So a lot of times, you know, the relationship we have with our parents or that we see that our parents have molds us as to what's acceptable and what isn't as we move forward in our life. So there may be issues from your childhood that you may be replaying in your current partnerships. It can also be your current partner or your past partner that brought those energy in, those energies in, and they've affected your energy. So it's time to learn from those types of things that have affected any sort of abundance in your relationships, any sort of growth. You need to be able to release them, learn from them, forgive and release. Release. It, it does you no good to keep replaying those type of scenarios in your future. So Aquarius, you have the chariot card. I love it. Moving forward victoriously. I'm not going to take these two because that was my bad, but I am going to show them to you. Three of Cups and the Knight of Wands. So with the Three of Cups is coming together with someone, but the Knight of Wands is that when you do come together with someone, guess who gets scared and run away? Either you or the other person. So one more card for Aquarius, please. Wow, that one like did a little twirl there <laughs> Aquarius seven of cups in the and the chariot card and right now right off the bat I'm gonna tell you Aquarius if you've got some confusion in your relationships in your partnership perhaps many choices in the work sector or in the partnership sector you will be figuring out what the next step is to be able to move forward victoriously. So I'm gonna show you these even though I'm not gonna take them this applies to any earth sign it can apply to anyone else here Page of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, the Death card, and the Ten of Pentacles. So, what we're talking here is a brand new beginning. This could signify a new beginning, a new job, a new business venture. This has to do with your finances, with your financial stability in the home, beginning something new that you love. Like say, you've always wanted to quit your job and start a bakery or your own graphic design company or whatever, you're finally gonna have that fire lit inside you that's gonna push you to that new beginning where you will find it very fulfilling. So here we go, Libra, two cards for Libra. Nice, Ace of Swords. And the Three of Cups came out earlier. You're coming into a realization about uh, something that's going to happen. You have an opportunity that's definitely worth celebrating for. Wow, that's going to be awesome. Okay, so here we go. Gemini, Ace of Cups, and the Five of Swords. Why are you fighting love, Gemini? Why, Gemini, every reading I do for you, you are so resistant to love. <laughs> You're killing me, Gemini. You're killing me. <sighs> All right, let's see. Forgiving and learning, choose a new direction and opportunity. Aquarius, come on now. With the chariot card there, you do not need that devil card 
what is going on with the Four of Swords and the Page of Wands. Let me stop before it gets a little too crazy here for Aquarius. Forgiving and learning. If there are issues here from your past, from your childhood, from your partnerships, it can even be work, work related. You got a boss from hell and like now they're trying to be your best friend and want to work together with you and you're like, uh-uh, people don't forget, <laughs> right? And so maybe they want to present you with this promotion, with this new opportunity. Maybe it's somebody that you used to work with and you don't have the best impression that was left of them, but they present you with a new opportunity. So really, really go back to that situation. Really think about what you've been holding on to from past experiences. Release yourself from it. Release yourself, learn the difference as to what you need to heal from, what you need to let go of, what you need to move forward from because sometimes we don't get the closure that we need but we got to make our own closure you got to be strong enough to do that if you wait for somebody to give you closure you're going to be a granny i'm sorry sometimes people don't have enough sense to realize that other people need that so it's time to choose a new direction if you've been waiting for some closure for some explanation for some communication from someone sometimes we just got to close that door get our own answers that's all we can do and then choose a new direction in a more positive way and when you do you open up yourself to this opportunity you will be moving forward victoriously there has been some confusion when you have way too many options being presented to you it's like you don't know which way to turn like a kid in a candy store do i take m m's or snickers no i don't want chocolate i want you know twizzler whatever right you've got so many different choices here so which one do you take you're allergic to chocolate do you take chocolate no obviously unless you know your sadist <laughs> but you move forward victoriously and away from this brain fog because having too many options and choices can cause this brain fog where you don't know what to do next and you need to be careful that you don't attach yourself to anything negative that you don't move forward without releasing this toxic past that you should be learning from it's about taking the time to really think about and assess where you want to create that new beginning, that new offer that's coming in. You've got this, Aquarius. You've got this. You can charge ahead victoriously. I want to pull one more for them before I move on to, I think I'm going to run out of time, before I move on to Libra. Let's see. Okay, last card. Yeah, it is about work. It is about finances and being able to let go of certain issues that have come up in the workplace. You do need to forgive and learn partnerships at work. Choose a new direction. If you've been at the same place for a while and it's not working out, it's draining the hell out of you, you will be presented with a new opportunity. People know that you're a good worker, you're a hard worker. Be open to a new direction coming towards you, the possibilities that come in. Libra, Ace of Swords and Three of Cups with the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, single Libra's looking good. And even if you're not single, there you are. King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Or this could be the man in your life. <clears throat> so, if there was a situation here where you're thinking, I want to come together in a partnership at work start a new company start a new business you're being you know very careful on how you approach things you've got this great idea that makes you feel just so excited and powerful and you're thinking this is what i need to really get my finances in order financial stability abundance the material plane you know you you come into these ideas and it's this mental clarity about who is what who with who you want to work with and build these partnerships if this is about a relationship there are things that are going to come into light things that you might not have been aware of that were going on there is a need for forgiving and learning here learn from the past mistakes that either you made or your partner made <clears throat> whether love or business 
I can tell, Libra, you're not speaking up. <clears throat> because I can feel my throat closing up. You are aware of certain things going on around you. And you're not speaking about it. You choose to be oblivious. You choose to just act like everything's okay. One more card for Libra before I move on to Gemini. <clears throat> Libra, if something is going on in your marriage, you're pretty aware of it. You've got some sneaking suspicion about something. You've started that forgiving and learning process because you feel like it's your fault. There is a need for communication and there is a need for truth and clarity here. If in the end you still want to get together and celebrate this partnership, yeah, see, someone's feeling left out in the cold. Someone is feeling left out of this coming together, this partnership. If Libra senses that there's a third party here, they're going to be aware of it very soon. Okay. Okay. Too many characters here. You already know how I feel about that. Too many characters here. For married Taurus or, or partnered up Taurus. You've got a married couple here that can really duke it out, can be really mean to each other. You've got someone acting like they're single and then they get all emotional about it. So Libra, Forgiving and learning, remember that when you come into this conclusion of what's been going on. Gemini, Ace of Cups and the Five of Swords. You have this very positive opportunity for a new love, an opportunity, oh my goodness, yep, an opportunity in love, or if this is in the workplace, it will be an opportunity for a job that you love, okay? So, Gemini, why are you fighting it? Why are you fighting it? What are you holding on to? You're replaying something. You're stuck in your head about specific situations, but this is self-sabotage. You're doing it to yourself. L love relationships aren't working out because you're already assuming it's not working out. You come off defensive. Oh my God, Gemini. You're not talking about anything, but you're thinking about everything, if that makes sense to any Geminis. There's a lot going on in your mind that you're not speaking of, so it's festering inside you, emotionally and mentally. And so without even knowing it, your partner, current or ex or whoever, is paying the price because this starts brewing and then you lash out and this is my asshole card so you lash out and someone turns into an asshole with you or you turn into an asshole with them or you're both you know being jerks with each other but you've got this balancing act of all these things going on in your mind that you know from holding on to them for so long they start growing in your heart emotionally and it, it wears away at your self-esteem and your confidence. And so you're juggling between what your mind is telling you and what your heart is telling you. Look at that. Ten of Swords, Three of Cups. Okay, Gemini, if there was somebody here who's been cheated on in the past, you are entering every single relationship with that mindset. They're only going to cheat on me too. My last three boyfriends, my last three girlfriends did that to me. How do I know they're not already cheating on me? And it's like you're creating that in your head, even if there is no proof. So this Ten of Swords came out in reverse, which is a really good sign. Because now you know it's time to walk away from these swords that are self-inflicted self-inflicted because you keep replaying the same thing over and over again Gemini oh my gosh I've got like six minutes and I gotta squeeze in the fire signs I hope that resonated with some of you 
I have not read a single comment. I'm sorry. I will rewatch the video and catch up on the messages. I know I've got incoming messages right now too. Let me get through this quickly. I'm glad, Al Perez. I'm glad. Remember, you guys, if you're not already following me um, on YouTube, I will be posting up July love readings this weekend. I do have some personal reading appointments this weekend as well. If you'd like to purchase a personal reading, just DM me and we can go over the different options that I offer for a personal reading. And uh, we can do Instagram video calling, which worked out awesome last weekend. I'm really excited about it. And um, the other option is a recorded reading where I send you the link and only to you so nobody else has access to it unless you share it to them. And I can work on that this weekend. So let's clear these decks. I'm going to move on to Fire Signs. Al Perez. As soon, oh, thank you, Mrs. Marisol. Al Perez, as soon as you forgive the past you don't need to forgive the actions or the person accept the learning lessons as they've appeared or you will keep repeating the lessons until they're learned and so when this new guy comes in you'll be way more than ready for him believe me all right let's get to it Fire signs, because I've got four minutes. Damn it. Sorry. Thank you, Jenna. All right. Fire signs. Oh, I hate doing a reading fast. But my son's got to eat and I got to go. <laughs> this could be the one. Fire signs. <laughs> All right fire signs this could be the one and what do we have for the angel answers oracle for the week ahead remain positive you see so awesome i love it i love it aries leo sagittarius two cards each please well, thank you for being quick, Aries. <laughs> Six of Pentacles in the Chariot. Aries, just in time. It's just me. So, Leo. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's see. Leo, Queen of Cups. And Eight of Cups. I love it. Sagittarius. I've got less than two minutes. Shit. I will continue on just to finish the fire signs and then I got to sign off. Page of Pentacles and Three of Cups. All right. Let's get to it. Aries, this could be the one and remain positive. So if you've been feeling as though you're not sure if this partner, the one, the soulmate, whoever it may be, is ever going to come around, you've already met that person. And if you haven't physically met them, you may already be in contact with them is what I should say, which will cause you to be not so single anymore because you will be moving forward victoriously. Look at that. This person is going to give you what you've been waiting for. Equal give and take, a new beginning. You manifest this, you know, loving, positive relationship. I love it. I love it. Remain positive. Stop worrying about whether or not the right person is going to come in for you. You already know that person. Now, don't go scoping everyone out in your life saying, I wonder if that's them. I wonder if that's them. They will present themselves. They will. And it will happen within divine timing. So here we go. Aries, Leo. Leo, Queen of Cups and Eight of Cups. Moving forward. You're feeling cancer season right now, Leo. Look at that. 
Leo, you're, you're really into your emotions or you are involved with a water sign heavy water here wanting to move forward with them so leo if you've recently met a water sign or this is someone that you've been with in the past and you know for whatever reason things didn't work out and you're trying to get back together with them remain positive those opportunities will come in you've done the work the everything will manifest it will manifest to your highest good you are moving forward to something greater and this feels like a soulmate energy from the past whether it's a past life or someone okay thank you guys for coming back so leo remain positive remain positive here yes there are things you might not be aware of there are things that are still unfolding for you and maybe something feels a little off here but it could be that they've been working towards a brighter future for themselves so that they can partner up with someone else. So remain positive. You will have this amazing new beginning with someone that you already know. Probably someone that you hadn't even thought of. And for those that do know, because you've had this feeling that this is what, what it will be, you feel like this person is the one remain positive things will start unfolding and they'll start manifesting right now it's moving towards that direction moving towards the future sagittarius page of pentacles and three of cups remain positive this could be the one if you are involved with a water sign or an earth sign sagittarius there are things about this relationship or this partnership that you have felt that you needed to stand your ground in could be a Virgo or you've you've gone out and um, spoken to a Virgo about this situation it could also be that you need to take the time look at that okay too many people in this partnership or relationship you got the three of cups twice we got a problem Sagittarius either you're the third party they're the third party or there is a third party right probably more than a third party I don't know why even if it's a polyamorous thing it's all good this is like three to five people involved in this relationship that's what I'm sensing and so it leaves a lot of unsettled emotions arguments people being jerks with the other partner because they got in a fight with the last partner you got too many people too many partners and you can't figure out which one deserves to be treated cordially lovingly respectfully Love yourself and respect yourself enough to just want one relationship. And if you've got an open relationship with someone, then make sure you guys have open communication. Because when you're not on the same page, no matter how freaking open your relationship is, people still get hurt. People are still left for, you know, things are still left for this misinterpretation of things. have to finish this up okay the five of cups again there's three cups on the floor you're being called to turn around and look at two cups so you got three to five people in this relationship if there's a Sagittarius who's dating around perhaps seeing a few people but only really connecting with one or between the two of you you have more than one partner and so it turns into three to five people in your little group. It causes a little, a lot of unsettled emotions, resentment. You feel hopeless in wanting to move forward. I don't care how much you think, oh, but we agree on this. And it's okay, we're both open to seeing other people. There's still a little bit of resentment there. Go from the three to the two. That's what this is calling for. You need to go from the three of cups to the two of cups. That three of cups is emphasized twice there, Sagittarius. Be in a relationship where you are valued, where you are loved, and do the same in return. You need a new beginning here, so you need to figure out if this is the person you want a new beginning with or not. So that was fire signs look at that communicate quickly fearlessly okay you guys oops 
There goes my melon egg. I really have to end this. I'm sorry I could not take any personal questions. I will try to pop in um, either Saturday or Sunday. It'll be a surprise reading where I'll only take um, personal questions, okay? And maybe we'll do the, um, you know, pick a card with Archangel Michael. Because I, unfortunately, I don't have time to do it right now. It's a little... A little late for me, and I got a hungry kid waiting for me in the other room. So, again, if you're not already following me on YouTube, I'd really appreciate it if you click on the link in my bio. You will see that I've put up all the personal readings, not personal readings, I'm sorry, the general readings for the month of July. I will be posting up the uh love readings for this month uh this weekend so you will see if you've subscribed and you've got you've hit the little bell to subscribe and get the alerts you'll know when the love readings are being posted up and i will start with the same order water earth air then fire so you guys know i think the majority of my subscribers are water and earth so I think what I'm going to do for the next month is whichever video gets the most likes is what I'm going to start with. So there we go. Thank you guys. Thank you so, so much. Um, the videos are there, the general readings. I will be working on um, the love readings this weekend. If you'd like a personal reading, please DM me. Let's, you know, figure out what you'd like. And um, I do the majority of my readings in the evenings during the week. I am in California, or I do them on the weekends when I have more time. And the options are a recorded reading or an uh, Instagram video call. Okay, so thank you guys so much. I love you guys so much. Seriously, thank you for your messages. Thank you for all of you who have ordered readings for me. You know, I always love your feedback. I, I really, 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 like it means a lot to me.